Today is an awesome day. I'm Del Duf. I'm back with some more Dawn of Man. And before we get this video started today, quote of the day. If you want to have the results only 5% have, you must be willing to do and think like only 5% do and think. Robin Sharma. And if you never heard of Robin Sharma, I definitely suggest checking him out. He's he's pretty awesome when it comes to um self-development and leadership and stuff like that. So one thing I noticed is a lot of our people are unhappy. And they're not super busy doing work and stuff like that. So I figured we need to build some more skull balls and totems and stuff like that. So I got those underway. Well, I think we have like one a little bit coming up. Um, let's do something here. Let's see, where did my cursor go? Let's build a couple more totems. Or a couple more skull poles. Where should we put these? Let's put these. I guess we can go ahead and plop some back here. I mean, a little bit out of the way of the village, but I want to take a whole lot of space in the village. And if we can actually have them on this little hill overlooking the town. That'd be kind of cool. Go ahead and build another one here. And then we can actually build a, uh, a totem too. I mean, I would f guess that they would use the stuff inside the village first unless they're all used up and then go elsewhere. Not really sure how that works. And what speed is the game? The game's on time eight. Okay, we got another knowledge point. And okay, we caught up the population cap. Ooh. Dude, we just had four people join our settlement? No way. Yeah, we're above cap, but once this gets built up, we'll, we'll be good. You know, two houses that need to be built up again. And what do we have here? Sheep. Already have, already have tons of sheep coming. I don't think I really need anything. Is there anything I'm going to get rid of? Uh, no. Nope, nope. We're good. We're good. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You're dismissed. <laughs> We're doing good food wise and everything like that, so we're in pretty good shape. This person here needs water. There's a well over here. Why don't you come to the well and get water? Now, I'm not really sure how the well works. Does the well just collect rainwater or do people have to come into the river, get water, and bring it to the well? Not really sure how that works. It might just it might or it taps into water underground. Not sure how it works in this game. Okay, so we have a sledge that's no longer usable. So let's go ahead and replace that. Definitely want to keep an eye for stuff like that. And autumn is here. Yeah, I love how the game changes colors. Love how everything changes to um the pretty autumn colors. Okay, and once it's built up, our population cap will be higher. And we can actually build another hut over here, I guess. Let's see here. No, we should be fine for now. Two more people move in once this gets built up. So that's all our houses. That'd be all of our houses upgraded, which is pretty awesome. So we had another sledge die. And it seems like our people are a lot happier than they were. Okay, 83%. So that's not too bad. Not good, but it's not bad either. Okay, how many good? Okay, we have seven sheep now. Awesome. We have wool. So next thing we want to open up is um, definitely want to get this weaving. So we need the weaver and the outfitter. Let's get that. Let's unlock stilting so we can actually get bridges. Dude, we got. Dude, look, we're getting all this stuff. That's awesome. Okay, so now we need to build, not storage, production. There we go. Let's put a weaver. Let's put the weaver. We'll probably put the weaver out here. Eh. I hear you in the outskirts. But we'll put them like right here. This should work. Build the weaver. I wish we could. Like move these out of the way. But you know what? That's fine. Um, let's see here. Build. Production. We have the outfitter. 
Oh, we can build. Okay, so we can build it here. Nice. It's not too bad, actually. Or should we put our production down here? Not really much room. Yeah, our little town's running out of space. <laughs> How are we doing here? 40, 52, okay. So once more people move in, we'll have to build another house. And dude, we're getting all this stuff built up. This is awesome. So everything's been harvested, which is pretty darn sweet. We have 12 linen, 4 wool. And I think there's still more here to grab, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, I think that's part of the 12, isn't it? Yeah, we're doing pretty darn good here. Um, our storage situation is in pretty good shape. I built another one of these because I figured that we would be getting out of animals. A new human was born. Awesome. Check that out. So now we can start. Okay, so they're making that and that. Okay, so how do we actually make... We need the workshop. Or does the weaver... Is the weaver need... Okay, the outfitter actually makes clothes. Okay, that makes sense. And let's turn this off. Don't need that stuff anymore. The trader's arrived. Do you have anything good for us, trader? Um... Uh, could probably... So he has linen cloth. Why not get some more lemon? Then you know what I mean? And let's see here. Let's trade him some knives. <laughs> 105? Holy crap. You know what? I'm half tempted just to build another house just because. Stable. Okay, we're good with stables. And let's see here. Let's turn this bad boy around. another house built here just so we're, we're prepared when it comes time to um once our population shoots up which it might do pretty soon we got stilting too um pig mestication i mean why not it's pretty awesome dude we got 250 fish now awesome okay now okay we do have bridges so how do we build Okay, transport. And what we could do is put it right outside of our gate here. Nope, that's not what I want. I want it over here. Let's try that again. It's kind of weird how it places items in this game. That work. We do one bridge here. I guess let's do a bridge over here. Something like that. That work. And we have the sandbar down here. And we can also do something. We have the sandbar here, so we don't really need a bridge here. Um, let's actually do bridge going this way. And then build another bridge. Coming over here just in case we need it. And I don't know, the sandbar is actually slow down movement. I know we have the bridge over here too, so it's all good. What's going on here? Oh, that's right, a tree cutting spot. Forgot about that. Okay, so let's edit this bad boy, get it over here. I forgot I had a tree cutting spot over there. And this spot here has been cleared out, so. Since we're building bridges and stuff over here, workload too high. Some of these people might not have warm clothing. What? <laughs> Put this over here, actually. Nah, I kind of want to leave that untouched because that's our hunting hunting grounds. Um, let's see here. Put it back here. Yeah, something like that. Gives us a tree cutting area. We actually ran out of wood. Wow. It's kind of crazy. 
What is this, ten? And we could probably trigger some of these that don't give us anything good. Something like that. I think later on we can actually plant trees that give tannin. So we'll be able to actually, um... Actually make a spot just for tannin. Or just for farming tannin, I should say. And I'm trying to get rid of this so we can extend this out. We might not need to, but we'll see. We'll see how things go. Definitely want to put another hut here. Should we actually put more, ah, uh, I me died of old age. That, that, that's sad. And springs here. Looks like all the fields have been planted, which is awesome. Ah, oh, nice. We got the outfitter here. Yeah, we're definitely getting all that started. Good, 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 good. We turn off the production of these here. We're getting the new stuff in here too. Awesome. So next time a trader comes, we'll be able to trade some of this old stuff for the new stuff. That is sweet. And these give two shirts each. Yep. Oh, that is sweet. And how are we doing food-wise? Our food's running kind of low. Well, we got plenty of bread. Fishing is doing pretty good. Uh, we have plenty of sheep. We got here goats. <laughs> Maybe we can catch some baby pigs. Yeah, be able to slaughter pigs when need be. Okay, we got a bridge here. You know what? This stick collecting area over here is closer. No, we're gonna move this. Move this over here. Just like that. Awesome, awesome. Okay, we got a grown pig over here. We might actually want to do some hunting. Um, we could set this as another hunting ground over here. We've got some hunting over here to do as well. Actually, let's... I didn't want to dismiss the trader. Let's actually do that. Let's place another hunting ground over here. How do we do that? Right here. I guess as big as we can. And something like this. Because that way, I'd rather automate the hunting than actually um, have to... Um, let's see here. We are kind of low on food, so let's... Grab some of this edible food. Is that, that's just a regular bow. And then we can actually get rid of... What? Oh, perfect. It'll get us some edible food and now we have plenty of wheat that's not the issue um i'm thinking about getting some pulse pulse farming going darn young trees now i can't plant now i can't plant um anything there <laughs> it's okay we'll figure it out oh we have someone else died of old age crap everybody's dying of old age we messed up man we got 50 stones. Let's actually up this. To 100? Holy crap. Eh, okay. Let's, let's do that. Get rid of some of these stone mines here. Let's get the game going full speed again. And I kind of want to grow some pulses. Maybe we can put some pulses out here. Um, can we... I guess we can't destroy that, can we? We have lentils, chickpeas, and bitter vetch. Bitter vetch doesn't sound like something really edible, does it? <laughs> it sounds a little too bitter for my taste. So, I don't know what the heck that is. Let's do some chickpeas. Chickpeas are always... Chickpeas are good. There are some of these out front here, I guess. And then we got some lentils we can grow out here, too. Like that. So that way summertime comes we can plant some plants and keep keep more food coming in. Oh dude, we got a knowledge point for hunting some deer. Nice. So now if animals come over here, they'll get marked for hunting as well. 
Look at the, got these sheep. We have seven sheep already. Uh, oh, these are deer. Oh, wow. Okay. What do we have over here? I need some grown, grown pigs. Some grown boars. Or baby, baby, baby boars. Not grown boars. Grown boars don't really do us any good. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have plenty, we have plenty of animals over here. I wonder if the animals do get smart. Be like, hey, this person hunts here a lot. Let's stay away from here. What is that? Oh, okay. And we got... Got some boars over here, but grown, grown-ups. Yeah, I guess at the start of every season is the best time to check for, um... More animals. Look at all the hunting that can be done down here. Holy cow. But we're not gonna worry about that. But yeah, it kind of makes you wonder if the animals learn. Hey, don't go here. They hunt there. Why are you not using the sledge? Seriously? <laughs> Guy's carrying a log on his back. Who does that when we have sledges? Oh, dude, we got nine knowledge points. So yeah, we could start. Get this going. Nice. And then copper age is 20 knowledge points. Dude, these knowledge points are coming pretty darn quick. It's awesome. Fruit domestication, ride domestication. Yeah, I think fruit domestication, there's a, a service tree. Not sure what that does. And ride, you need for making beer. Making this some unlocked. Nice. And what we can do actually is. We can build one of these um, little shrine things. Just so our people have another spot to go and pray to. Oh, it sucks I took up this spot here with these things. Maybe I could put it here. I don't know. Let's see. Ah, click off the game. And let's see. Let's pair this. Go ahead and mine that band boy out. And let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, the copper age is going to be pretty darn sweet. Look at all the haystacks we have. I'm kind of, kind of want to build more storage, defensive. It's more watchtowers going. Just so we have plenty of um protection in our little town here. I've been building them up little by little, just just as time goes on. So our people, I don't want to give our people too much to do, but at the same time, I want to keep them busy. What do we have going on here? We got some dogs over here. Nice, this person's building a bridge. Cool. Some awesome. And let's see here. Um, probably start. Because the stone circle is going to be like one of the most badass things we can build in this game. There's four, there's five in our immediate area. I think there's even one out here too. I thought there was one out here. Yeah, we got some out here. So yeah, I'm going to build the first, the first monument thing. Just see what's going on there. Check it out. You know, it's gonna be kind of cool. Our wool cloth. So we got 10 wool cloth already. Nice. Look at that. 8 and 10. I trade one to trade some of this stuff to the trader to get rid of it. So we can have the better stuff on us. I don't want to cancel those. I want to keep those going. So I wonder if we keep these going until we get, um, like 44 of each. And we just need to get our production of wool up. So we got plenty of sheep. Got some goats. And I'm surprised we didn't get any more animals, man. So we have 10. We have enough for one, one stable. <laughs> and let's check for pigs again. To find any baby boars. This could be a bad idea, bad thing of um 
Automatic hunting. You make it harder to actually find. Oh, holy cow. Check that bad boy out. Still got a mammoth in the area. Dude, that is so awesome. And I spent a lot of time doing this looking for animals, but. I, th I feel like we have plenty of baby sheep. Yep, we got that deer over there. Good. So with the new hunting area, we should have a steady supply of meat coming in. It'll be good. Hey, we got boars, but no baby boars. What the heck? <laughs> got, what, donkeys? Wait, okay, these are horses. These are donkeys. Sometimes when you're in this mode here, you can't really tell. But I'm not seeing anything. Just kind of sucks. What the crap is that? Oh, okay. It's a. It's one of them big stones. It look. It looked really weird. And where are we at here? Okay, here we go. Back to the village. Let's get the game going on full speed again. Nice. We got ten wool outfits. Awesome. Awesome. And autumn is here, which means harvest season is here. What we might have to do is chop some of these down. So we can actually extend out our um our linen here. Is that another tree or is that okay that's part of that tree again? That looks like a separate tree, is it? No. That's weird. Workload's too high. Humans born. Oh. See, we had one person die, one person die of old age, one person to be born. <laughs> Got a young tree. So yeah, I want to extend this out over this way. Or just put a whole another field down. So we can get plenty of linen coming. Although we had enough to last us through the seasons as we're crafting everything and all that good stuff. So, oh no, I think we're in pretty good shape. So let's... Prepare this for transport. I want to give them another place to um, actually pray at. Dude, four people joined the settlement. Our population. That's awesome. We need 20 knowledge points for the Copper Age. Yeah, it's, that feels like it's going to take a long time. <laughs> I want to get through all the ages before I end this. Before I end this playthrough. Workload's too high. Someone else is born. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I know workload is pretty high. We got all this farming to do. I don't think we should have much of anything else to do, really. I don't want this. I don't want the straw in here. We'll leave it alone for now. Oh, dude, look at that! Old age, a new hum humans born. That's awesome. So as long as we get all the linen, linen, that's basically what we need. And as much as this we can get, it's not that huge of a deal, honestly. We don't get all that. We got good over here. Oh, dude, we got mooses coming over here. Oh, wow, we got a lot going on over here. A lot of animals coming in there. Oh, oh, raider attack. During the harvest season. Darn. Um, okay, let's sound the alarm. Get everybody in the gates. Oh, dude, we got new sheep were born. Nice, nice, nice. I never checked to see where the raiders were coming from. Is that... Oh. Okay, there's like five raiders there. It's not too bad. Come on, doggy. Get over here. <laughs> is that a raider or is that one of us? I think it's one of us. I hope that's one of us. Okay. <laughs> let's shut the gates. And then let's kick some raider butt. These, these. Another raider attack. It, the trader picked a really bad time to arrive, didn't they? Does the trader have anything good? Anything we care about? Ooh, I wonder if we could trade. Okay, that's. Take all the wool outfits. 
And then let's trade our actual skin outfit. It's kind of crazy. The skin outfit's worth more than the wool outfit. And then let's go and give him a couple more of these. There you go, trader. Ah, uh, raider killed her dog. Get him, get him. Kill those punks. We ain't got no time for that. And that's it. <laughs> Another successful defense. So we can turn this off and open the gates again. We're good to go. And animal control. See, our animal population is pretty darn awesome. And with that being done, I was about to say, why is the music still going? <laughs> So we're good to go. We do have some more food coming here. Um, not that we really need any food. We have plenty of grain and everything, which is crazy. Some of this stuff needs to be upgraded. And let's see what we got going on here with the hay situation. We have lots and lots of hay. Yeah, let's not have straw inside it, inside of here. That doesn't make any sense. We have haystacks for the straw. <laughs> so another successful defense. And population 50. That is awesome. That's like the highlight of the video. Wow. We got the shadow of the bird flying, which is pretty darn sweet. And we're doing pretty darn good here. Welfare is 81%. Heck yeah, we're doing pretty good. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to call the video here. But before in the video is the tip of the day and the quote was okay i'm bringing the quote back up again tip of the day is to um i know a lot of people say they want to do this they want to do that or they want to make this amount of money or that amount of money or something like that a lot of people tell me that and the biggest thing that people don't really do is they don't really have a plan or they don't really do what it takes to get to where they want to be in life most people just want to sit in front of the TV and pretty much numb their minds instead of actually work on themselves and get themselves where they need to be mentally, emotionally to actually be able to complete the goals they want to complete in life. So my tip for today is to work on yourself mentally, emotionally, make sure you're doing everything it takes to hit your goals and be part of that top 5% that strives to hit their goals and actually hits their goals. So. And Gurnak died of old age. He rest in peace. Man, we have a lot of people dying. Holy crap. So, I just want to say thank you for... I guess next episode we actually build this megalith, huh? Interesting. It actually shows up here when it comes to megalith. Interesting. Wow. Okay, so... I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Um... Go ahead and kadoosh that like button if you like the video. And you totally Rick of Awesomeness. May you be happy, healthy, at peace, and live in abundance. Much love. I challenge you to live your version of an extraordinary life.